And here we are down at Pike Place Market um, near Post Alley and uh, I'm just strolling along some of the shops right on the street here. And uh, we'll look at some of the, the wares, fresh fruit here, wonderful selections. And we have a, a one-man band here, over here. Oh, yeah. I like that. that that's, that's a like. That's, I like that song. Want to buy the apple? Uh, okay. Thank you. And I'm just going to walk along the avenue here and uh, look at all the wonderful... This is called the Sanitary Public Market and uh, wonderful fruits and vegetables. Look at how luscious these these are. Uh, papaya, Royal Star Papaya, blackberries, lemons. Beautiful selections here. Hawaiian Papaya. Look at these sweet bell peppers. Oh boy, they, they all look so luscious. Making my mouth water here. And a selection of herbs, cilantro, parsley, various potatoes, sunrise medley potatoes, uh, yams, yes, and uh, various shops here. Uh, to, there's a Mexican street food shop, Los Agaves. Yes, Los Agaves. And uh, it says creamery here, and uh, has has some wonderful f uh, fish, fresh fish, Jack's Fish Spot. So I'm gonna stroll along here now. Let's give you a little taste of this uh, one-man band uh, man here. Very nice, very nice. Let's see what they have here. Sockeye salmon. And this is the land of salmon. The Great Northwest. Fresh Idaho trout. Wow. That sounds good. $6.99 a pound. Fresh red king salmon. $10.99 a pound. Those are pretty good prices. Live hood canal oysters here. Alive Kamamoto oysters, $17.99 a dozen. That's reasonable. Live Hammersley Inlet oysters. And all this is available at Jack's Fish Spot. Right across from Pike's Place Market. And uh, here's the, uh, the deli counter with all of the uh, prepared fish. Salmon filet, salmon steaks, ahi tuna, medium prawns, fresh sea scallops, true cod, fresh Pacific true cod, fresh Dover sole. Yes, a wonderful selection. Look at those prawns. Uh, they are wonderful, yes. So this is all at Jack's Fish Spot and Crab Pot. His Dungeness Crab. Yes. And King Crab Legs. It looks like they're temporarily out of. Let's see. Pen Cove Mussels. Jack's Fish Spot. Chips overnight in the USA. Fresh seafood. Okay. And a lot of shops in here, and including the uh, Lamp Light uh, Bookstore, one of my favorites. 
one of my favorite uh, shops in there. And uh, I'll, I'll just take a little walk down here into into the corridor here. This is an interesting array of uh, of souvenirs and bottles and cows. If you're a collector of cows, there you have it. This is the place for you. Earth, Wind and Fire, Unique Boutique, Kitchen Basics. And here we are at Lamplight Books, where you will find a wonderful selection of, uh, I guess it's mostly used, uh, they have a wonderful art, art section, and uh, very personal service, uh, wonderful old bookstore here, just across from Pike Place Market. And we're, we're looking into the, the bookstore here. Okay, we'll head back out. As you can see, people enjoying their food here. Tables everywhere, and uh, it's a fun place to, to walk, to browse, to snack. And there are, there are just restaurants everywhere. Seattle is booming right now, and it's very welcoming to guests. There's uh, restaurants, ca coffee shops, cafes, uh, bars, uh, bread and be breakfast, uh, and uh, of course the museums, uh, some of my favorites, Seattle Art Museum. And here we have oh, uh, my own uh, namesake, Frank's Quality Produce Company, 1908 Park Place Market. Okay, excellent. And of course, look at uh, look at the wonderful fruits and vegetables here. Fresh like sweet corn, yes, yes, fresh organic English peas. Look at this. Uh, uh, this is cornucopia squared. Cornucopia. Wonderful array of vegetables. Fresh eggplant. Fresh artichoke. Look at the size of those artichokes. Rhubarb, fresh spring onions, asparagus, and now more fruit, plums, comus pears, succulent red donjo pear, yes, they all look very good. Sweet mandarins, pineapple, boy, it just seems like uh, witch finger grapes. Boy, they look tasty. They look tasty. I'll have to sample some of them. Uh, various pears, champagne, mangoes. Witch finger grapes. That's exactly what they look like. <laughs> sumo oranges, super sweet sumo oranges. Yeah, it's very nice. And of course, people shopping. <coughs> and I'm heading uh, further down. Oh, the strawberries. Strawberries look wonderful. Strawberries look wonderful. More grapes, uh, those grapes look great. Sweet blue, sweet blueberries, yes. And luscious tasting uh, dates. And delicious blackberries, which can be found everywhere in the Northwest here with the spread of the blackberry shrubs up here. And here we have a uh, nice selection of cheeses. There's no lack of food here, no lack of food. Shy Giant frozen yogurt and the Oriental food market.
stuff also, an assortment of bags and souvenirs, keychains, Seattle keychains. All in the Oriental Market. And even on a rainy day, it's a Thursday, uh, you can see that we've got quite the crowd here at Pike Place Market, the ever popular Pike Place Market. And some more fruits, pineapples. Looks like they're serving uh, ice cream in there. And continuing around the corner here onto Pike Street and the more fruit uh, offerings, corner produce appropriately named. Yes, absolutely no lack of uh, food and delectables here at Pike Place Market in Seattle. <laughs> Oh, I see the Can-Can Kitchen and Cabaret. Perhaps from a, a more red, red light uh, era of Pike Place Market. Here we have a wonderful uh, musician here. And inside here, the Left Bank Bookstore, Left Bank Books, used and new, wonderful books, bookshop here, absolutely wonderful, Left Bank Books. He's a wonderful musician. Uh, they can be found throughout uh, the tourist area. And plays, plays very well, I think. Pike Place flowers. So many fresh flowers in evidence throughout the area. And here we are up on First Avenue. And there you can see uh, the famous sign, Public Market Center, Pike's Place Market. World famous and uh, pretty much uh, tourist year round. We're, we're heading into the spring here, so we're heading into prime tourist season. And tourists from every corner of the earth, really. And uh, everybody seems to be enjoying themselves uh, quite thoroughly here. And here I'll pan up uh, to see some of the skyscrapers uh, downtown. Is they're really expanding quickly. There's another uh, skyscraper here, and you can see uh, the city of Cranes. Yes, there is one of them as the entire city expands with the uh, along with the expansion of the tech sector Amazon, Microsoft, Intel, Google and so forth here in wonderful beautiful downtown Seattle and it is beautiful beautiful architecture it's becoming one of the great cities of the world there's the green tortoise hostel and I, I've stayed at the Green Tortoise Hostel, I believe, in uh, San Francisco. Uh, they have a branch and uh, uh, a very uh, global type of clientele. And um, okay, I'm going to head across the street here and. Uh, And I'm still here at the corner of Pike Street and First Avenue. 
and I'm sitting a bit and I, I think I'll I'll just let the camera take in uh, all the scenery we do have um, some light rain today so you, as you can see the umbrellas are out but uh, it's not discouraging people we have uh, just uh, thousands of people at the market and milling through the downtown and uh, Seattle is just booming with tourism and business and uh, people out and about and doing business and having fun and uh, um, lots of international tourists obviously and uh, I'm sitting in front of the Starbucks here which of course is uh, a very popular destination and still sitting here at the corner of Pike Street and First Avenue across from the Pike Place Market the famous sign Public Market Center across the street the neon sign and you can see the umbrellas are out today we've got some light rain but as I said, the, not discouraging people. People are out and about and enjoying the shops and uh, strolling about. The weather's, uh, you know, it's just right. It's not too hot, it's not too cold. And no wind today, so it makes it easy uh, to stroll around. And I'm just sitting here letting the camera take it all in. Today is Thursday, April 5th, 2018, and uh, spring uh, is trying to break through. We've been getting the occasional uh, day with beautiful sun, puffy clouds, and today is Today is uh, a rainy day uh, for the next couple of days, but uh, the weather, um, I think, will be in the 50s and upper 50s uh, this weekend, so uh, certainly be fine for uh, hanging out here in Seattle. And I'm just letting the camera take it all in here. Obviously tourists with cameras everywhere. Pretty wonderful day here, uh, even with the, the light rain, uh, streets are wet and shiny, and some people with umbrellas and hats, other people just uh, disregarding a little bit of wet, And um, but uh, busy day at uh, Pike Place Market, the Farmer's Market, the world famous Pike Place Market. And the passing tableau of people and lives. The street tableau at Pike Place Market.
sign off for now